Hello everyone. We will now be simplifying and solving logarithmic equations, functions, expressions, whatever you want to call them. Um, we will do so. However, I will have to make a two-part video because I don't want to rush and I want to take my time so all you folks can understand what I am doing. Okay, so we're going to start with simplifying. We're going to simplify first easy, then, you know, longer ones, and then, you know, actually getting the exact answer. And, yeah, we'll see where we can go. All right, let me get my pen ready. Okay, so our first example is log base 3. Oh, and hopefully you watched my previous video on introduction to logarithmic functions. Uh, all the, everything, you know, uh, starting from the properties to um, the notation and some examples are even included. So if you want to watch that video before you watch this one, that would be very helpful. But I do see I have this trusty. No, I don't. Come on. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I have my three properties here and just the basic notation rule. So if you feel like you're comfortable, that's great. But we will still have some reference. All right. So we have log base 3 x plus log g base 3 2 plus x. Okay? Well, automatically you can see that you have the same base. You have the base of 3 for each of these um pieces. So, what does the rule say about two things? add it together with the same base well you can rewrite it as um, as a multiplication you you know really multiply them together under the same base we can do that so let's do that so we take our log and the base base 3 and we multiply this here see what I mean you multiply you can do it the long way actually right or you can just do it right away so now we can simplify this x times 2 that's 2x x times x that's x squared and you can go further but um we can't but basically that's all that I want you to do uh, we're not solving for x we're not doing anything we're just simplifying it so this is our final answer Whoop. okay Right, next one. I don't really have enough room, but I think we'll have to make it work. Alright, so we have 3 log base 2 x plus log base 2 y minus 4 log base 2 x plus 3. So it might look a little bit intimidating. It's not. It's really not. Let's see what we can do. Well, personally, when I'm simplifying logs, I don't like having numbers in front. See, this one has a nothing in front, so that's good. But when I see these numbers in front, they bother me. And the best thing to do is let's look at our third rule. Our third rule says if you have an exponent, you can bring it down here in front of the log. Well, now we have something in front of the log. How do we get rid of that? How do we get a clean log? A function. Well, we can use the kind of the reverse of this. We have this, so we want to go back. We can put that exponent back in its place in front of the m, on top of the m, basically. All right. So we are going to do that. So this one, the three is going to go up here. The four is going to go up. And I'll show you how that looks. All right, so we got log two x to the third power. That's what I mean. All right. Plus log this one's okay. And you may have a different way of doing this. You know, maybe you do this loss, but I recommend you do that first, so you can see what you are working with. Okay. Um. And then you can you, you put the four up there. 
to the fourth power. Alright? Great. Right. Now what can we do? Well, we have an we have first of all these logs have the same base of two. Correct? But there's something different here. We have an addition of these two logs, and then we are subtracting a log. So what I would do is take care of the addition first, always, um, and then go to this. So I'm just going to make some square brackets there, and recall adding two logs with the same base, just as we did in the first question, the same thing as multiplying them together, right? But we keep the log and the base. So to rewrite this, we get 2 x to the third times y. Alright, this times that. Great, and we still have this. Okay, so we are almost done. Oh, this is base two. So we still have the same base. Always having the same base is just so much easier to work with. It's fantastic. Okay. Our last step is, well, hold on, we are subtracting. What does it mean to subtract? Well, let's look again. When we are subtracting two logs with the same bases, it's the same thing as putting it under a fraction, you know, ratio. So let's do that. So we still have our log, base 2, this over this. All right? So we have x to the third y over x plus 3 to the fourth. And there's our final answer. We don't want to do anything, I mean, it's not necessary and not needed, and you really can't do anything. Um, so this is our final answer. I hope it's, you know, catching on, because um, look at this huge expression, look at this tiny thing. It's much easier to work with. Okay, now this is also simplifying, but this is a different simplification. You are actually working with numbers now. Um, and we will be, we can say solving a log function. Um, okay, so we have log base 3, 1 over 81 equals y. I put a little rule here. This is the rule between a log function and an exponential function. How this looks in exponential form, basically. Okay? And we will need this in order to, because we are starting, we are just beginning to do these types of problems, so we need to put them in exponential form in order to understand, because we are well aware and well familiar with exponentials. So, um, and it's easier to work like that, it's much easier. So if we put this function uh, to exponential form, how will it look? Well, we know the base is a 3. We know the exponent, sorry, the exponent, my god, the exponent is the y right there. The, um, the um, what's after the equal sign, basically. So this is the exponent. Your answer is your exponent. Equals what? Well, equals the x. What is the x? This thing right here. So this is your answer. We took this and put it in exponential form, and let's quickly see what we can do. Well, we have a base of 3 here. We have an 81. Can we change this 81 to a base of 3? Yes, we can. Um... This is the same thing, oops, same thing as writing 3 to the 4th, okay? So great, we have the same base, but now we need to, you know, we need to get rid of some stuff. I'm talking about this 1. How do we bring this up here? What do we need to change? Well, hopefully you know exponential rules and all that. If you want to bring this up here, your, well, let me write it, your exponent will become negative. Because, let's work backward. If we have, if we were given, ignore this for a second, if we were given this, we would rewrite this as 1 over 3 to the 4th, which, which is what we have here. Right, so hopefully you see the connection. Oops. Okay. So we have the same base. Let me 
just let the exponents equal each other. There is our answer. Negative 4. Okay? Let me... That's a bad line. Alright, okay, this one's a little different. You are used to having small numbers and a bigger number here, right? Let's see. Yeah, we would have... Well, I mean, not really, but... Okay, never mind, just ignore what I just said. <laughs> Um, let's see, we have a log function of log base 27, uh, 3 equals y. It doesn't matter where you put your y in front or behind, it means the same thing. Let's put it in exponential form. So we know I want to try to do this without, try to do this without looking at your rule. So your brain kind of gets it. So your exponent, I mean your base is your 27. Your exponent is your y, and your answer is this thing. Alright, so you're thinking, hold on, what do I do? Actually, I wanted to change it. Yeah, so it makes sense. Can we say this is a 9? Because we are starting off, and I don't want to get there yet. So say this is a 9, okay? So if I put a 9, same thing. So we get 9y equals 3. Okay. You're thinking, well, what do I do? You have to think in terms of this. 3 is the square root of 9, right? Well, square root is, you know, 1 half, 1 half. So, actually, y equals 1 half. Because 9 to the 1 half, same thing as root, uh, the square root of 9. What is the square root of 9? It's 3. And 3 equals 3. Okay, so what is 9, what, is, what power nine, does 9 need to be in order to equal 3? Well, 1 half. Hopefully you see, you see this connection, right? Why it's 1 half. Alright? Okay, our next one is actually right here. Oops. Okay, so we have 5 to the log base 5 equals 10 okay so this one is actually in exponential form we have to go backwards let's look at our rule we are in this form right now we need to go back to log oh and even though there's a log in the exponent that's okay it's still in exponential form so how do we go back to that to log well, we know the base of the exponent is the, well, we always have a log, obviously, is the base of the log. Right. The answer, oops, hold on, my thing is not working good. This right here, the exponent is the answer, right? No, actually, I'm going to, what is right here? What, what goes in here? Well, in here, for logs, it's the answer of your exponential function. Okay? So here goes the y. Equals the exponent. What is the exponent? Log base 5, 10. Okay. And now, um, I hope you notice that we have the same bases. The 5. The 5's are the same. Meaning, we can let these guys equal each other. y equals 10. Okay? We are coming to an end to our video. Is this the last example? Yes, this is the last example. And I'll do a bunch more. This is a similar, very, very, very similar example to... Almost the same. Uh, this one. I just want to practice again with different values. Okay, so. Is that 9? Is it a 9? That I wanted? No, actually, it was, I think it was a 4. But I mean. Yeah, let's say this is a 4. Okay, so like I said, when I'm simplifying things like this, I don't like having these numbers in front. I have nothing here. We want to put them up back to our exponent as an exponent. 
Um, let's do that. So we will have log base 6, okay, 5 to the 4th power plus log, this one's fine, minus log base 6, 4 to the 5th power. Great. We have clean logs. Now, oh, we know, we can see that the logs have a base of 6, all of them. Always check your bases. Make sure they're the same. Okay, um, because you can't use these rules with having a different base. That's a, it's going to be in the next video. It's how to change bases and all that. Okay, um, what can we do now? Well, we see an addition here of two logs. In addition of two logs, same thing as multiplication, right? Okay. With the same base, of course. So I'm not going to actually do this because I'm very tired. Um, just write, yes, 9. We still have minus log 6, 4, to the fifth. Um, right, so we are subtracting two things. What is that? Well, it's the ratio put it as a fraction. And then we have 5, 4. These numbers are going to be very big, that's why I don't want to calculate them. Over 4 to the 5th. Okay? Don't worry about the arithmetic. Um, I think you would get a fraction, so don't worry about that. This is your final answer. That's not pretty, is it? That's oh god. Okay, this is your final answer, alright? Okay, so I will see you in my next video and we will be doing probably one more of these guys, but I'll do a different kind. And we will start solving. Solving log equations. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you next time.